G'day. In this video, I'm going to show you how the uh, Layers toolbar works here on the left hand side. So I can first of all click and drag that further up. So now the layers are in a prominent position. And just so you know, you can click on this arrow and you can turn um, layers off and then turn it back on again. So the first layer I want to show you is borders and labels. So if I click on that one here on the left, all of a sudden we can see the different states of Australia. We can also see some of the major um, features like the Great Dividing Range, uh, Lake Air is mentioned there, etc. If I zoom in on Victoria, all of a sudden we have Melbourne, Geelong, Frankston popping up. And as I zoom in further and further, we've got all the different suburbs popping up as the different um, labels for the uh, different places. So if I turn that off, now if I turn on the places layer, this is a little bit different. This is for all the different parts in a suburb, so you might have um, community centres, you might have train stations here, Westall Station, etc., Clayton Station, you might have airports, and as you zoom in further and further, you might have different shops, um, all different uh, schools, things like that. So those are places. If I turn that off and turn on photos, photos is going to give me all the different photos the different users have uploaded. And I can click on those, for example, here, we've got a church and someone's uploaded a few photos of what that church looks like. So you'll be able to find photos almost everywhere and you'll be able to upload your own as well. Next one, roads, fairly straightforward. It labels all the, all the roads and as you zoom in, it's gonna have some of the minor roads as well. I'll leave 3D buildings for a second. Uh, ocean, if I zoom in out, if I zoom out, sorry, um, and I click on ocean, it's gonna give me some different features of the ocean. And you've got all these different um, shipwrecks, um, dead zones, animal tracking, all those different things you can play around with. If I click on weather, all of a sudden it's going to give me the cloud cover. I'm not sure how often that's updated, but I'm sure you can find that out. There's a few others here that you can play around with. Um, parks and recreation can be a useful one. All of a sudden all these start popping up and you can get some different information about the different parks and reserves. My favourite one, however, is called 3D Buildings. Now, I'll just go to the um, Coliseum. Here we go. Click on that, search. It's going to zoom out and zoom me in on the Coliseum in Rome. All right, now, if I go down here, I showed you earlier in an earlier video how you can change the angle of what you're looking at, which is great. Now, if I turn on 3D Buildings, all of a sudden, the Colosseum really comes to life. Now I can zoom in and it's going to take me all the way around. I can um, play with this one here and I can get a really good view of the Colosseum from all different angles um, and really get an idea of what it's like to be there. I can um, move forward here, turn around all different directions. You can manipulate it and you can get a really good view of the Colosseum. Another one, let's just go to New York for a second. Another excellent three-dimensional view of um, New York. And you can fly through the city and have a really good look at the skyline. Yeah, it's pretty amazing technology.